Sawtooth waves. I'm sorry, not on sawtooth waves, on your uh, pulse waves. And the reason why is because they don't line up. This makes them asynchronous, and it's difficult to get those nice sort of uh, pulsing sounds from that. Because they all hit at different times. Thank <laughs> you. 
sounds a good resonance almost completely up at the top. Notice it does uh, really sort of jump into screaming territory, but it's a quite useful screaming. <laughs> on the sawtooth wave. for some pretty cool effects. similar sound on the Glee Glee. Profit 600, but you can just do so much with it in terms of sound.
the chroma does definitely get some of that hugeness that you normally hear with an Oberheim synth. oscillating in terms of frequency it is di at a different rate uh, in regard to the LFO not different rate sorry at a different depth uh, regarding the LFO than the higher oscillator which is also then going uh, not only being modulated by the LFO in terms of frequency but also uh, oscillator twos uh, I'm sorry the, the filter is also modulating oscillator twos frequency <laughs> as well as the pulse, uh, pulse width modulation. to the frequency of oscillator 2. So you notice that oscillator 2 comes up from the bottom. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
episode. Thank you very much. This has been the Chroma Polaris. Uh, I haven't even gotten into what the foot pedal can do. It can modulate a whole bunch of things on this, uh, but that will be, I guess, for another video. In the meantime, enjoy this video, and thanks for watching. One thing I probably should show before we end is to try to get the filter stepping that this is so famous for to actually show up, so I'll try to get it out on this sound. <laughs> but you can hear a little bit here. So it's in there, but definitely not bad. I know I've heard it work, but so it's hard to actually get it to show up sometimes when you're actually trying to look for it. So, anyway, play a little more of a filter, but thanks a Oh! <laughs>